Well, closed door talks between Chinese officials and 14 Palestinian groups, including senior Hamas and Fatah leaders, have concluded in Beijing. This is the second attempt by Chinese diplomats to bridge the gap and find a consensus between rival Palestinian factions. Leaders have been meeting with China's foreign minister, Wang Yi. They have now signed a document aimed at ending division, which they're calling the Beijing Declaration. Well, we can now bring in Mustafa Barghouti. He's the Secretary General of the Palestinian National Initiative, one of the 14 Palestinian groups that have signed this unity deal in Beijing. He joins us now from there on Skype. Mustafa, let me start by asking you what's in this unity agreement. There are uh, four basic elements in this agreement, uh, which are most important. The first one is that uh, all the Palestinian groups have declared that they are all unified in confronting the terrible genocide that is happening in Gaza and the acts of annexation and uh, attacks on the West Bank as well. Uh, second, uh, there was a declaration of the establishment of uh, an interim uh, national consensus government which would be uh, responsible for maintaining the unity of West Bank and Gaza and would represent the body that would uh, be responsible for Gaza in the day after, as they say. Mm. Uh, this is an important step because it blocks the Israeli efforts to create some sort of a collaborative structure against the Palestinian interest. There was also a decision that uh, there will be a, an interim uh, unified leadership uh, and a call for the meeting of the leaders of all Palestinian uh, 14 parties to become this kind of uh, interim leadership till we reach a point where the Palestinian people could conduct elections. Mm -hmm. It was reaffirmed in this agreement that a new Palestinian National Council should be formed through democratic free elections for Palestinians in the occupied territories and outside Palestine. Mm -hmm. Well, it's remarkable. I mean, let me ask you about the timing of this, because some of these splits between Hamas and Fatah, for instance, go back to 2007. How much has the war had an impact on Palestinian unity? Because it could have also gone the other way. Well, it's the main factor, because everybody feels the heavy pressure that is coming from this terrible war crimes that are committed in Gaza, the genocide, the collective punishment, the fact that the Palestinian people are totally unprotected in front of this terrible genocide that they are subjected to, and especially the most recent decision of the Israeli Knesset, which declared that there is no place for a Palestinian state, and practically declared the death of Oslo Agreement. There is no other way for Palestinians now but to be unified and united and struggle together against this terrible injustice mm. and this terrible aggression. But uh, as we always say, the, the most important thing now is not only to sign the agreement, which was done, but to implement it. So the most important thing now is to see real and immediate implementation of this uh, important agreement, mm -hmm. which went further, much further than any previous agreement in the last uh, few years. Indeed. Uh, there were talks in Moscow in February to this, as we've been reporting, is the second round of talks in Beijing. Uh, Mustafa, what has been the role of these external mediators and, and particularly the Chinese in, in brokering this agreement? I think the fact that China stepped in, as uh, Moscow did before, is important. It shows that these important superpowers are really supportive of the Palestinian unity and supportive of the Palestinian rights. Uh, in face of the Israeli efforts to completely eliminate and liquidate the Palestinian right of self-determination and the Palestinian rights in general. So the fact that Beijing and Moscow are interfering, and in this case, I think the declaration in Beijing built on uh, what was achieved before in Moscow. Uh, the fact that today the ambassadors of, of, of Russia and Egypt and uh, Turkey were present during the signing of the agreement means that there is a serious support from all these countries to the rights of the Palestinian people for freedom and independence. It's not just that they are pushing for unity. They are pushing for unity because they realize that the unity will strengthen the Palestinian ability to stand up to the Israeli aggression. And that's, in my opinion, the meaning of what's happening. 
you speak about standing up against Israeli aggression, and you mentioned that part of this agreement very critically includes this national consensus government that would then take control of Gaza in the so-called day after. What does that now mean for ceasefire negotiations? Does this now mean that because there's more Palestinian unity, there may be more momentum going into talks? I hope so, because it shows that Israel, it shows the Israeli side and maybe the American side as well, that any plans to divide Palestinians will not work and that their dreams about creating an alternative collaborative structure that would uh, be working under the thumb of the Israeli occupation will not work in Gaza. It shows that we are all unified against this kinds of, these kinds of plans. So hopefully this will help push forward uh, the ceasefire discussions. Uh, although I must say that the biggest, uh, the biggest uh, guilty side in this whole process is the United States of America that has failed drastically in pressuring Israel to stop this terrible genocide that is taking place in Gaza. Uh, and uh, had the United States been had a different position, we would not see, we would not have seen this terrible atrocity that is taking place now in Khan Yunis and in so many other places. The situation in Gaza is absolutely drastic. And uh, it represents a very serious threat to the lives of every man, woman and child in the Gaza Strip. Mm. So, we need now the whole, uh, every possible international pressure to force Israel to go into the agreement of ceasefire. Mustafa Barghouti there, the Secretary General of the Palestinian National Initiative, one of 14 Palestinian groups that have just signed that deal in Beijing. Thank you so much for joining us on Al Jazeera again, Mustafa. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.